Originally introduced in FeatureCam 2013 R2, the option to change the method of calculation for the index limit is now available from the machining attributes. FeatureCam will calculate a cylinder around the corner limits of a rectangular bounding box around the part stock, resulting in an extension of the index position around the part. This option calculates the limits based on the size of the solid revolve, resulting in an index clearance that is more efficiently close to the part. So in this example we've got a pre-machined part and what we want to do is we want to machine these grooves around the outside. Now if I look at the groove itself, just go to the miscellaneous tab, at the moment I can see that my Z rapid plane has been set to 25. If I go and play the centerline simulation I can see the tool is actually indexing a lot further out from the part component. If I were to actually highlight the indexing position, so in this case you can see the circular position and the distance, and we look from the top here, we can see where the 25 position is supposed to be. Now as I highlighted, it's using the bounding box, so if I go and actually have a look at what this would represent, in this case if I look at the stock properties, we're using a user defined, but if I go to a block and then just say apply, you can see the resulting bounding box that it's using and what FeatureCam does is it effectively defines a 25mm distance in the circle or the cylinder that wraps around that position. If I actually turn on the bounding surfaces level we can see the location of this. So we have a 25mm distance from this location like so. Sure enough if I play the centerline simulation we can see that distance around that bounding cylinder. So to fix this we've got the option that's now been moved into the machining attributes so I'm just going to go back into my stock settings and I'm just going to go user defined again and just redefine that we're using that same stock solid and I go into my manufacturing machining attributes and under the miscellaneous tab you'll see there's a checkbox that says calculate index radius from stock solid outline. If I go to the milling tab there is also exactly the same option. These two options are actually linked so I can click on this one, if I go to my turn you can see this also indicated as calculating on the turning section as well. Once I've set that option I can go ahead and recalculate my toolpath And you can clearly see now that my index location is actually correctly set to that 25mm distance.